Good evening, friends. Wow, look at me bathed in red. How's it going? What's up? What's up? Our Dominic Cragger, not a roguelike. Good to see you. RV Winkle, Fury Fighter, Arcane. Hi, everybody. Happy Friday. Hope you're doing well. I am doing lovely. I've made it. I've survived another week. Not that it was a particular uh, stretch to do so, but I made it. I'm here. I'm good. Um, is a horror game if you're an architect. <laughs> oh, you guys were thinking about buying this, huh? Okay, this is... <laughs> this is so pathetic. Okay, do, do you know how I ended up with this game? I... I was going through my email um, at like... When, when did I post this? Like six, six or something? Because I was I was looking to see if I if I got a key from Devolver for Trek to Yomi because I applied for one and I really want one. Um, and I was checking my spam folders because the last time Devolver sent me a key for Serious Sam Siberian Mayhem, it ended up in my spam folder. So I just I just wanted to be sure, and it wasn't there. But this was. <laughs> so I was like, oh shit. This just came out. I should play it tonight. Damn. And so here we are, together again. <clears throat> Eating cookie M&Ms, not cookie with M&Ms in them, but M&Ms with cookie inside. That's, how did they fit the cookie inside? That's a, hmm, that's an accomplishment. The brownie ones are vaguely gross. Out of town, so things are a bit different for you too. I, I hope I hope it's a pleasure trip and not a business trip. What's up, worst elephant? They are gross. <laughs> Isn't performing a bris on stream against her? It's it's for educational purposes. Okay, as long as I preface it with, with that, we can show all the dicks we want. I I, I there's one weird trick. Twitch hates it. This is my culture. I suck. What'd you say earlier? If you're Jewish, you know the horror of a bris. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so yes, the original concept for tonight was in, is my chair shrinking? I feel like I need shorter here. Maybe not, okay. Um, <clears throat> the original concept for tonight was Indie Horror Night. Uh, I have a game called Iron Lung uh, that's by one of the Samanskis. I forget which one actually. Uh, but I have been really looking forward to playing that. They make some very intense uh, horror experiences. After that, I have a game I got from the developers called Janitor Bleeds that we will take a look with. Probably not a full playthrough. I've heard it's actually pretty pretty uh, sizable, but um, we'll still take a look at that. And then I got other stuff we can do. I got other horror stuff. I got other indie stuff. I got other indie horror stuff, super indie horror stuff. All kinds of possibilities. But then, but then, but then, just a scant few hours ago, I found this key for a bris. So we're starting with this. I figure, start with the destruction, segue into horror, kind of a natural progression, right? <clears throat> Do not play this demo during the day. I did not, Vessi. I missed this one completely, which is funny because I've been following these developers on Twitter for ages. Uh, I feel like since they first announced this, because it looked so cool, and yet completely missed the demo for it, so. I see this is the Silent Hill Wiki Circumcisions Guy's demo. <laughs> We've cracked the code, chat. It all makes sense now. The, the, the blood red background, the vaguely phallic structure here. Didn't you play Jan Janitor Bleeds as part of Haunted PSX? I think I might have, actually. I think the last uh, Haunted uh, PSX demo disc had Jander Bleeds on it, maybe, I think? It does look familiar in the screenshots. We'll know more when we, uh, when we get into it. Well, Iron Lung started as an entry for the Dredge the Depths uh, Horror Game Jam, which I kept saying I was gonna cover and didn't. Um, so, spoiler alert, you dragged it out of me. Uh, that's one of the possibilities for tonight after we get through these three games, is we can actually look at, take a look at those uh, Dredge the Depths games. So, we got, we got a lot. We got a lot of possibilities tonight. Um, before we get started, 
Just wanted to let y'all know, um, we have a new emote. I announced it on Discord. You should see it uh, in there. Uh, y'all have been availing yourselves quite a bit of the request a new emote function, and that's good. I like that. Uh, we've gotten a lot of really neat looking dem uh, uh, neat looking demos. We got a lot of neat looking emotes out of this. On the back end, we have a we have a wonderful, wonderful collection of emotes. Uh, just waiting for us. Unfortunately, unfortunately. Twitch, Twitch only allows peons like me uh, nine standard subscription emotes, right? So we've got all these cool emotes, but they have to keep cycling through the list, right? And I don't want to push out anything that's that's like really popular and getting a lot of use, like our opulent GG emote, um, Master Kirby. I know y'all love that one. Um, so I'm keeping track of that stuff, and when y'all request a new emote. I, I have to edge something out, whatever like is the least popular at the moment. It's up to hit. Hang on one sec, Fury. Let me finish my spiel real quick. <clears throat> so, um, basically what I need, I want y'all to keep requesting emotes because y'all have had some great ideas. We've gotten some really good ones in here, um, but we need to temper it a little bit. We, we need to ease off the gas just a bit. Um, because all of the emotes we have right now are either too popular to kick or they were added in like the last couple of days. And I want them to last a little bit longer than that if people are putting up dragon coins for them and if our wonderful channel artist is putting effort into making them. So, uh, to that end, I'm adjusting the two emote requests that we have, request a new emote and bring back an old emote. They're now going to have a ramping cost. Every time we, uh, we make a new emote or bring back an old emote, I'm going to increase the cost of that particular function by 2k. So they're the same, they're the same price now, they haven't changed yet, but after the next, uh, after we add the next requested emote, it's going to jump up to six and then eight and then upwards like that. I'm hoping what what I'm hoping is that people will still feel comfortable requesting really clever emotes, but will maybe be a bit more strategic about it, since it will get progressively more difficult to request them in the future. So it's also it's also a bit of future proofing. Like if we the more people we get in here, the more dragon coins we got floating around. There's no way I could keep that at 4K without having to, to deny a majority of emotes that come through, so. Don't talk about Briss emote, please. All right, anyway, now that now that that's out of the way, now that y'all are aware of the ramping costs for these, uh, Fury Fire, what'd you want to ask? What did, what did you have in mind? I think we need a follower subscriber drive to unlock more like, emotes instead. <laughs> Um, unfortunately, unfortunately, I am, I am successful enough that I have all of the Twitch affiliate emote slots, slots unlocked. Um, the only way for me to get more is to get the partner. And we're, we're, we're a bit off from that. That's, 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 uh, that's gonna take some time to reach, I think. Oh, was it a joke? Oh god, oh, oh, oh god, okay. <laughs> In retrospect, I'm glad I missed that. So yeah, anyway, uh, feels weird to say, but let's play some video games, shall we? Uh, Abris launched yesterday in early access. It is very early access, 0 0.1.18. Um, I know they're planning on expanding this into a full campaign. I don't know how much is in this right now, but there is a campaign in a sandbox, so. Um... Wow, that's, if all these are in here, that's actually got quite a few levels. Come on, burrito. Uh, let's play the intro, I guess. I don't know if there's a tutorial. I don't know how hard this is gonna be to figure out. Hold the right mount, mouse button to rotate. I did it, I'm genius. Hold the left mouse button to move. 
For a second, I thought I was saying I was wrong because there's an X on the screen. Scroll zoom. Nice. Man. Okay, this is the thing about this game. This game looks so good. I was I was really excited about this because it looks so nice. <laughs> there are and there are two or three more worlds coming. Nice. New part, ultra heavy cube. That looks promising. Alright, so select the cube in the menu on the left. Good. Click the left mouse button to fast place a part. I like. I did it. Hold to move after placement. Uh, release to build. Yeah. Ah, okay. Oh, we got some neat scaffolding going. I think this is a puzzle game in a way. I think this is like um, Besiege, if you remember that one for like from like years ago, where you you have to build stuff. You use whatever building tools you have to destroy whatever's in front of you. When does the horror hit? Wait for it. Um, yeah. Destroy all red targets to win. All right. Here we go. And go. Whee! I think I did it. Is the horror Lego got a puzzle game? The horror, the horror is is facing our own mortality, in as a metaphor, uh, represented by buildings and red targets that you destroy. I did it. Next level. Use connectors to link part. Okay. That sounds neat. It's a large structure. Uh, heavy pillar, connector, and ultra heavy cube. So I guess what we do is like, what if we build like a really tall thing? And then we do like, no, no, no. Not what I wanted. I wanted you up there. Remove part, right click. Okay, cool. Good. Um, let's see. Uh, okay, you must you must have connectors. Connect them. I can make like a long thing. So will this like fall over when I hit go? Oh, it'll just collapse. Ah, uh, because it, okay, because the towers aren't connected. I see, I see. Clear, what? No parts left, okay. Let's try that again. So we wanna make, we wanna make a solid tower then. That's what we wanna do. So we'll put this on the edge and then we'll put a connector and then we'll put that there, put a connector, put that there, and then I guess at this point maybe I can I can stack cubes on top? Let's see what that does. Oh, it's, wait, it's going, it's going, it's going. Here we go, here we go. Nice. You just you, you just had to wait for it. That's all. Congrats, you made a very stable tower. Oh, never mind. I'm I'm like the architects that made the tower of Pisa. Eighty-seven percent destroyed. Ah oh, well, nevertheless. Or is modern capitalism society so decadent they destroy their own monuments in no attempt to repurpose? Destroy targets on build grounds to unlock. Oh, okay, neat. That's pretty cool. Okay. So. All right, we have heavy pillars and heavy beams this time. So it seems like maybe we have enough. Let's see. I 
feel like we should save. Let's try this. See if this is gonna work. Go. We. Nice. There we go. Okay, so does that mean I get to use this guy now? Yes, it does. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. I'm launching a series of books aimed at kids. Let me know if any of them. What's up, MT? Okay, so now. I have a bunch of these. Yeah, so you get you get multiple moves. I guess technically I'd be leaning these forward. I think that's tall enough to hit that. I'm not gonna risk it. And I guess maybe plug you in right there. Perfect. There we go. All right. Let's see how this goes. The suspense it gets me. <gasps> Boom! That was a perfect shot. That was nice. Okay, I wonder what these little swarms of things are. I'm very curious about that. I love the atmosphere in this game. I love I love the way it looks, but I'm not I'm not sure why. <laughs> I'm not sure why it looks the way it does. Use rotators to turn part. Ooh, okay. Cool. I think, I think I see what they want here. Boom, that was nice. It's not a real horror atmosphere. It can be. I'm sure I said some things like that when playing um, uh, Condemned. My chair keeps getting shorter. I have, I have this weird feeling it's like... I, I, I'm, I'm worried maybe like the hydraulic in it is like failing. Say it ain't so. This is like Dead by Daylight is the killer. Oh, uh, is that gonna be, that might not be long enough. Um, okay. Let's try this. Oh, no, that's pretty good. Yep, that's pretty, that's pretty good. Now I gotta wonder what all these buildings are. They're not like, they're not like low-income housing or something, are they? That, exactly how dystopian are we being here? Orphan, yeah, orphanages. The horror! These bombs to create explosion. I like the sound of that. Okay, ooh, look at this. This is like a whole big bridge. All right, what do we got? We got bombs and connectors and heavy beams. I think the idea here, I think the, okay, I think the idea here, yeah, is that I build it out to like here? And then we're gonna, we're gonna detonate these support. I think that's the concept. Gentrification simulator. What if we, oh yeah, let's attach it, there we go. Let's attach it to the side. And then yeah, we got, we got a few more beams. How 
I don't know how powerful these bombs are. Let's try, let's try this. Yeah, I'm really, really curious what kind of story they're gonna graft onto this game. And, oh, oh, you get a radius. Okay, nice. Yeah, that's you sorted. That's you sorted. Okay, this should do it. Where's gonna be the best band? All right, go. Oh, no, you need detonate. Oh, I didn't realize there were manual detonation. Oh, I wanna do that again. Okay, here we go. Can I, I wonder if I can just hit the number keys for them. They're numbered one and two. Yep, there we go. Boom! That's so satisfying. That's so satisfying. Ah, oh, stuff's still blowing up. I love it. Getting, getting full destruction is kind of tricky. Uh, right click to undo. Okay. Got here. Well done, Force Tempter Navarone. What's up, Eva? Uh, we got pillars and connectors and bombs and rotators. I think I get it. It's a counter. Ah, yes, I get it. It's a counterclockwise rotator. Uh, I guess, I think I can just use, you know, let's snap a connector on here. We're gonna make the deadliest clock face known to man. Gonna run backwards. All right, here we go. I I wish I wish I could adjust the camera angle to get like a a, a better a better vantage point. What's up, sacrificial toast? Good to see you. All right, here we go. All right. Boom! Oh my god! <laughs> that was right. Oh my god! Look. Look at that natural up. Oh, never mind. <laughs> they thought they survived. They thought wrong. Just, just finish up Tunic. How'd you like it overall, Toast? Heard a lot of people rave about that game. I don't understand why this is called Iron Lung. <laughs> Destroy activators to use machine. Uh, what is, what is? It's awesome, makes me think of a lot of La Milano without being as mean as those games can be. That definitely appeals to me. So wait, if I, okay. So if I break that, it's gonna like shoot through here? I assume this is some kind of cannon. Let's give that a try. I ain't quite sure how to position this. Wait, I don't even think I need that. I think we just do connector. And Bimu, and then connector. They sure gave me a lot of stuff for this. So maybe, 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 maybe. I think. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna see how this goes. But I think maybe it's gonna be more complicated than that. Let's go. Okay, yeah. So that's it. 
The cannon shot blew through this, but the cannon shot's actually to hit this thing. I guess the the red things are some kind of um, attractor for these little drones or whatever. Similar kind of environmental detective puzzle solving. For a second, I thought you were saying this reminds you of La Milana and had a hefty dose of what the fuck. All right, hang on. I want to. Oh, and then it gives you okay. All right, so yeah, let's 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 redo this because I think I think what we want to do, I think what we want to do is take out this wall first, and then, and then we'll trigger the cannon. Red things are shearing the only thing keeping the hordes of hell at bay. It build and construct until it is done. Okay, so this is what heavy pillars are for. And then we need. Uh, uh, okay, I, I okay okay. I think this is gonna work. I think this is gonna work. I think this is gonna be great. Um. So we'll use we'll we'll use the first bomb to blow that up. Did that did I actually do that? Here. Looks like you should be able to attach it on the side there, but I guess you can't. Uh you're destroying these buildings because otherwise we have to pay taxes on them. Okay, all right, so that's that's the plan. Detonate bomb one, blow this up. Detonate bomb two, shoot through. Let's see if this works the way I think it will. Not really. Not really. Uh, let's go back to the last move. So, I, okay, I think what I can do here, because the issue is, wait, 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 wait. I think I have an idea, actually. I think I have an idea. Because, I think, the problem, the issue was this one down here wasn't stable, so I had to detonate it first. That should be stable. That should sit. Yeah, okay, so that blew up the wall. This hasn't collapsed, and so when all that junk is out of the way. There we go, okay. There we go. Yeah, the issue is, yeah, this one wasn't stable, so I had to detonate it before it fell into the abyss. That worked much better. That was only 88%? Damn. I wonder, I have to wonder if this is deterministic, if there's like spe a, a specific design you can make that guarantees 100% or if it's, if it's essentially got random chance. All right, now we got joints and hinges. Oh, they want us, they want us to make a trebuchet. And they even, they, they have, they have examples here. That's awesome. Okay, cool. That's really cool. All right, horizontal hinge. It should be de deterministic. Not, it, I mean, depends on the game concept, really. I I feel like maybe it should be, but not necessarily. Physics based are doing deterministic would be a development nightmare. I'm sure they just made, uh, I'm sure they could build something. Nothing I love more than physics based puzzle games where I can execute the same solution three times and get different results, yeah. Do they do appear to be in vogue. Uh, all right, so I think this just connects. I don't think we need a connector on that. No, that's that's wrong. I did it wrong. 
that. All right, and then we need a connector here. And then to this, we will attach the ultra heavy cube cubes. go um let's just try it like this now let's launch two bomb i feel like that was the problem people have bad rats before steam opened the floodgates and that was considered a legendarily bad game bad rats has a lot of problems beyond uh beyond that all right here we go we that didn't work All right, that was a big old nope. Um, two pillar. Building reminds you of Mother Gunship. What if? I'm just, I'm just, I'm just thinking loud here. Was the issue too much stuff? What if we just put like a bomb like here? Look at that. Hmm. Lacking momentum. Getting there, but not quite. So this is, okay, theirs is built a little bit different from mine. Let me, let me try to ape that a bit more closely. What if, here's a thought, what if we started with the connector? And we did... That. Obviously we need a bigger lever. Obviously you need to build one that can get to the moon. <laughs> uh, what if we put... Heavy pillar here. That help? I can't put. I can't put a. I want to put a cube on the bottom, but you can't get under it, unfortunately. Oh, but I do have more. I do have more connectors. in my mind here. I'm forgetting what things are. So what's this going to do? connector here so that the bomb can't escape. Will that work? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hang on. I need the... I, where's the... Hang on. Oh God, I have to restart it. I 
I somehow lost the, the restart prompt on that one. No! What's up, Rask? I, I just arrived. This game is besieged but grimdark. Besieged but kind of uh, cyberpunky, I guess. Okay. Let's try this. Oh, that's like. Oh, that. Oh, that might be. That might be it. It is! Oh, fuck. Finally, God. <clears throat> Finally. I'm absolutely sinking during these streams. I gotta do something about this. That was only 62%? Damn. Okay. 100% lost track of time. Hopefully, I didn't miss too much. Not too much. We're still on our first game. I have fun watching all the G level literally shows him what to do, but he didn't. I want to be creative. I, I, I want to experiment. Thrusters for propulsion. So if I just hit go, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Hmm, okay. Alright, new idea. We need like we need like a launch pad for this thing, right? Right, okay. Glad we all agree. Um Does it even need a connector? No, it doesn't. You can just stick it on there. All right. What's the game about? I just got back. Uh, we're destroying things. Or trying to, somehow. This is this is probably a terrible idea, but it's kind of cyberpunky Angry Birds, yeah. Ooh, oh, oh, <laughs> okay, that worked. I like that. Uh, I missed one of the red things, though. I guess it was okay with that. Change his mind. I like the thrusters. The thrusters are really fun. Two to launch. Oh, it's up. Oh, it's up above. Okay. Oh, oh, interesting. Okay. Okay, okay. What's this? The rotator. Okay. All right, it's it's showing me what it wants me to do. I just So we want Okay, interesting. So we're going to have a central pillar 
And then, all right, let's see here. Attach you there, and you there. And then we're gonna have connectors here and here. You do this the right way, the wrong way, or the oddish way. All right, and then you put these on top. And then we, we still got some shit, so let's put a bomb on here, because, oh, it's like a little van. I like it, cool. Okay, so, here we go. All right, so we need to rotate these into position. That may be close enough. All right, three, two, one, ignition! Oh my god! That was so cool! <laughs> that was super cool! I wanna do that again. Got leash at every highway and more, much more than I than this I did at the oddish. Alright. Can I give it even more of a spin? Whee! <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Oh, it's so beautiful. I love it. Really curious how you get to how you get to 99% destruction like that though. Like it doesn't exist anymore. Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. <laughs> Use hinges to make chains. Oh, no way. That's super cool. Okay. We're going to I think I think we're going to make like a rocket flail. I think is the concept here. Let me see here. Yeah, I think we want that. And then... Vertical hinge, okay. And then we're just gonna... We're gonna horizontally hinge this whole thing. Oh my God, okay, this is really cool. And then we put... That on there, and then a thruster? I think that's how this is gonna work. Let me see. Okay. Oh! Oh! <laughs> that's fucking cool. That's so cool. Yay for the tropical forest, I know, right? Oh my god, that's so cool. Connectors don't stick to frictionless build ground. <laughs> this is just MacGyver? Ah, uh, 
Okay, I see. I see what you're doing here, game. See what the plan is here. Guy wouldn't use actual thrusters or fashion something out of, I don't know, discard banana peels and a phone battery. Alright, that is gonna. Okay, I think the last one goes over here, right? Okay. Alright. And go! Oh, 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 it's snaking. Oh, there we go. Oh, uh, it, got, it got a little off-center. Awkward, but gets the job done. <laughs> Don't thank me. Thank the moon's gravitational pull. I'll take it. Toggle gravity with anti-grav device. Okay. So like... We have an anti-gravity device when we're making black holes. So like what I think we're making some kind of ship out of this? Haven't had a good couple of days, unfortunately. I'm sorry to hear that, Ras. Very sorry to hear that. Um. So, like... Be here. This also reminds me, for whatever reason, that, uh... Hard space, hard space shipbreaker is coming out of early access. Um, next month, which is pretty exciting. Ah, no, I didn't mean to do that. Shoot, R just, R just resets everything you do. That sucks. to wonder if like kind of wonder if this is going to do what I need it to do this is going to be su sufficient space shipping <laughs> last year they just didn't have much content I mean, I don't know what they've done with it in uh, in early access, so I'm really interested to try it out. It's been it's been a very long time since I last played it, so. Can you just? Oh, I can just hit this. Oh! Okay, that works.
worked. Added more ships and variants, basically. I mean, that's all I want. That sounds good to me. Oh, right, right on the cusp. Right on the cuspy cusp. Ooh, that sounds rough, Ras. That sounds really rough. Hello? New hazards like ghost ships. I remember when they added ghost ships as part of a Halloween update. Okay. I think we may have... I may have lost the video game. Holy Jesus. I just unlocked 16 achievements all at once. Uh, let me, I, I, I think we're ready to move on with this one, from, from this one, get into the actual horror part of indie, mostly horror night. Let me just, let me just see where, where we got in this. World one, extinction. World 2, Annihilation. Oh, so next one was Corner. So we had two more left in... Wow, okay. So we had two more left in World 2. Corner and Gate. And then Corrosion. These look pretty complicated. Stadium, that's cool. Erosion. Gunship, that sounds cool. Combustion. The sun. Okay, so wow, that's cool. Okay. So each each of the worlds has seven levels. That's 35 levels so far. Not bad for early, early access. And then there's a sandbox. How how sandboxy is our sandbox? Oh, oh you get oh wow, you get infinite everything. You get to define the target. Right, spaghetti. A big boy. Oh, we get lasers. Neat. Uh, so like, hang on. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just curious. I, I just a little, a little curious. Doesn't seem to be an underlying story at this point. No, there does not. There certainly does not. Um, I want to make, kind of hard to tell where we are with this, but shot, we, oh, you've got cannons, shotguns, lasers. There we go. Go. We. 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 Okay, that's cool. When did the release game of community created levels? That's a good question. That's really cool. <laughs> that's really cool. Magnet. What is a cannon? Not correctly? Okay. That's fine. Let's put a. Oh, hello. Ah, I didn't mean to do that! <laughs> You know, this is fine. This is this is this is fine. 
for Mega Rotating Thingy. Final 49 levels in new game mode, workshop support. Okay, workshop support's the important part. That means user created levels and more. So there's a cannon. There's a shotgun. There you go. All right, cannon. Oh, cannon single shot, okay. They're both, Jesus. Shotgun is powerful. You always see how they modded boobs to this. And then we... Man, if, if Besiege is anything to go by, I can't wait to see the crazy shit people build in this. Because people, like... Besiege was set up to make, like... Like, catapults and trebuchets and stuff, and people built, like... Like flying anthropomorphic dragons and shit in that. It was amazing. Yeah, this is this is really cool. I like this a lot. Yeah, this this has been a briss. This has been a blast. Is there a replay zooming in option? Um you don't have at least gameplay wise, you don't have a whole lot of control over the camera. Um, there, there is a camera mode, so possibly. You might, you might have more, more control over it that way. That was, that was one of my few complaints about it is that I, I wanted to be able to, to zoom in and kind of like get under my my thing I was building and like attach parts about you can't do that you're basically always at that like quarter angle from from like high up above you can zoom in for a closer look but you can't change the angle of the camera at least for, for gameplay uh all right all right chat get get, get comfy get cozy Get get your security blanket and your teddy bear because we're we're getting in the actual horror now. And play Iron Lung, the real Iron Lung, not not the fake Iron Lung that you might have thought. Give a second. There we go. All right. So my my understanding with this game is that the premise is you are piloting a submarine in an ocean of blood on an alien world. So I'm sure that's going to go entirely according to plan. I'm not sure what the plan is, actually, if, if you're in a submarine on, in an ocean of blood. I'm not really sure what you're trying to accomplish there. But you know what? We'll find out together. New game me, please. Decades ago, every known star and habitable planet vanished, leaving only those who were on space stations or starships. This event became known as the Quiet Rapture. With supplies dwindling and infrastructure crumbling, survivors are searching for any trace of natural resources in a universe of barren moons, lit by the ghost light of vanished stars. One such moon holds a strange anomaly, an ocean of blood. You're a convict tasked with exploring this anomaly in a makeshift submarine nicknamed the Iron Lung. It was not designed for this depth, so you'll be welded inside and the forward window will be closed. There was no time for training. If successful, you earn your freedom. Oh my god. <laughs> you want a premise. That's a premise. That's crazy. Yeah, dude. How do we get out? Good question. Beginning at descent. Cruising depth in roughly 40 seconds. Stand by. Um, I'm seeing some voltage irregularities in the instruments, so keep an eye out for sparks or flames or anything like that. <laughs> Approaching maximum depth. Uh, the hole's feeling it, but it's still holding strong. This one a bit much hard to operate, I understand. Okay. Approaching maximum depth. Approaching maximum depth. Approaching maximum depth. Approaching maximum depth. 
You'll be at cruise depth soon, so refrain from anything and be careful. You're on your own. Good luck. Why does the mouse interact tab map? Okay, we have a map. Okay, we have coordinates, that's good. Oh. Oh, this is how we see outside. How nice. Plan is this is an elaborate and cruel method of probable execution. So I'll just let me know. Um alright, so where are we? Right. We are at uh one eighty two thirty Okay, so we're starting like down here. Okay. So I think these are the coordinates of places we want to go. Now my question is, if I just key in those coordinates, can we go, or do I actually need to maneuver around around this place? So let's find out. Um, why? Wait. Okay, that's definitely me turning the ship. Two weeks ago, we conducted an exploration of Moon AT5 for the first time since the Quiet Rapture, leading to the discovery of a fourth blood ocean. A trench beneath the ocean's surface has several points of interest. Your task is to photograph these points of interest with the forward camera. Photos must be taken within two units of the specified position and 10 degrees of the specified angle. You can also use the camera to help with navigation. Only photos taken at specified points of interest will be saved. Since you can't navigate by sight, pay attention to your coordinates and consult the map. The proximity indicators next to the subcontrols will trigger if you're getting close to an obstacle. Good luck. How are you at trigonometry? Pretty terrible. So... Oh, I get it. I get it. This is your heading, and this is... Okay, okay, we're good. We're good. I know what we're doing now. I know what we're doing now. Alright, so we want to go... Okay. If I could beat this game, you can. Okay. So 180, 180. So that's gonna be like here-ish. Okay, let's just, let's just go up to 200. I actually watched a sort of video game essay on this game about a week ago night. All right, and we'll bring ourselves around to about, oh, that's too far. All right, and let's head in, out of curiosity, we pull the picture, this way. Stop, practical. Okay, so the X we want to be X322, Y186. Well, that's not good. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I, oh, I think we're passing by the, yeah, we're passing by the rock wall there. Very close to the rock wall, in fact. Yeah, because we're like 233. Yeah, we're we're right here. We're right past the corner of this. That was a blood drop. <laughs> That's probably not good.
It's a bot. Kill it. Alright, so we want to be three. Okay, okay, okay. We got it. 322. Be like right on the nose. And then 186. Ourselves around this way. Okay, they said within two units we should be close enough. And then angle 33. And I went the wrong way. Oh god, there's a bunch of them. Mods, do the needful. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay. Check mark. Cool. All right, so we want to head up here 378 to 63. Widow's probably a very real person with strong opinions on best followers, primes, and viewers, and we think she should hear them out. Okay, we're going to Right on the money. Um, angle 50. Get up here. Two fifty nine four oh six. Um. So we need to get to like three twenty five three hundred is what we're looking at. Yep, seems not. Okay. Two fifty nine four oh six. Got a bit of ways to go here. Oxygen notification. Two fifty nine four oh six. Sounds like there's something out there.
Dude, that sounds like something walking. Two ninety six. Okay. Reminds me of not a crawl. Not a crawl was really interesting. All right, giant worms. Very cool. Very cool. Let's say we tried for Waldo again. What's up, Hydro? Um. We could go back the way we came, or we could try going around this way. All right, we need to go up to 425. One hundred percent sure you Waldo is in a fucking blood ocean. All right, and then I think we can go. Fully this way until just after 350. Similar subway with some kind of invisible maze is bullshit. Three ten four twenty four. Three ten. There shouldn't be anything out there, though. to be able to navigate just based off of these indicators here. All right, 374.15. 3.70... 4... I'm like right around here, so I think we want to turn due south. Oh, and where are we going to? We're going down to about 325 on the Y. Is this game actually timed, or is the does the oxygen indicator decrement like a specific point? Because it would kind of suck to go through a whole bunch of this. Only to find out I can't finish it. A realistic one. Okay, so we're going, okay, we're going in this big area. We want to get to 560, Okay, well, I guess that's fine. Oh, it saved my progress. We 
got a ways to go. How y'all doing, chat? How y'all holding up? You can get a lot of mileage out of putting the player in a little tube. Just, just with sound design, you know? Holy shit. There, there are no walls around us out here. Don't talk chat, that way the atmosphere is much more dense. The pressure leaking your tin coffin a few thousand meters under the blood ocean. 54276. 54270. Okay, so we're close. 56277. The chance the alien blood ocean creatures are passive. Eh, pretty good. Pretty good. I mean, maybe they're just maybe they're just excited. Somebody's finally finally visiting their blood ocean. You know, we put all this effort into making a cool blood ocean, and that's a big fucking fish. That's a big angry looking fish. Don't like that. Six thirteen one ninety seven. Fun fact, Dracula put his castle here and you happen to be Belmont! I already forgot what I said. something. Alright, and angle 55. Michael Moore, it's fine. Alright. Big skeletonized thing. Cool. Okay. I guess we better head up into here. Um, so we need to get to 750. I'm gonna say 75270. Submarines aren't supposed to drip blood, are they? Well, if you're in a blood ocean, then no, I guess they aren't. I guess that's a pretty, pretty good point. Resim's got weird since the Game Boy. Definitely somebody in the blood ocean with us. Sure hope they're friendly. Goku would have field day training in here. We know, we know, we know. Okay. Okay, so we are 750, we're like right here. I should be able to slip through this space. And, but we need to stop before 800. Probably friendly, just not towards your sub.
Okay, so we should be through. So I need to angle up a little bit to go around this outcropping. And then where are we going next? 864, 258. 864, 258. I hate it in horror games when every time it tells you it's auto-saving, that's kind of like a bad sign. Because it means something might be about to happen that could threaten you in some way. Wait, what did I say? 864, 258. I'm really curious, chat. Do you think we're going to get any... Do you think we're going to get any revelations about why every habitable planet and... Oh, because we're... Okay, something does not sound right. Do you think we're going to get any revelations on what happened? 864, 258... That's enough. 209. Are we, are we just going to keep doing this until we get eaten by something horrible? This is not an expedition, it's an execution. When they put you in here, they don't want you to return. And even if you do, and even if they keep their promises, what freedom waits for you? A few dying ships in a sea of dead stars? And there is still hope it lies beyond the veil. Hope in this void is as illusionary as the starlight. I will choose to breathe my last here at the bottom of the ocean, unseen, unheard, and uncontrolled. They will get their execution. I will get my freedom. Are those buildings? Okay, anyway, we got that. So I need to go back to... I'll head back up to like 300. To be a perfect virtual boy game. Not gonna lie, a world covered in an ocean of blood seems like the end of a Junji Ito manga. Okay, so we want to go... I'm gonna navigate back through here. I want to get to... 7... 775-275. So we're right around like here. So we want to be at like, I'm going to say two, I think it's 270. 270 should get us through. Okay, 
No! God damn it. Okay, so we gotta go around this little island here. That's at like six starts at like six seventy-five. Alright. Go a bit further this way. And we'll turn kinda of this way. We'll go around it. Oh! I'm sorry. I was totally fine with this game at first, and now I'm kind of freaking out. All right, 550. Oh, so we're here. Okay, so we want to be at like... I'm going to say 570. And then head up to 500. Actually, I went too far. Don't even know what startled you. Something hit the ship. Something hit the ship hard. Just hit a bloodshot eye fish from Subnautica. Peeper. Evil peeper. We're 393. Yeah, that's okay. So we're passing through here. So we want to go up. We want to go up to 520. This kind of captures the same feel that Spooky's House of Jump Scares does where the basic gameplay is is very simple and the basic gameplay is very simple and not much happens but when something does happen it it enhances the effect it makes it it makes it so much more impactful like that just your indicator going off when you know there's no reason for it to go off like, the only explanation is there is something in the water with you. 526.3. And by water, I mean blood. Like again, like Spooky can make a cute ghost cut out actually cause you a scare when they throw it into a deadly chest. Yeah, I know, right? It's so clever. That game is genius. It gets super intense too. Alright, what do we got? What have we found? Bones, okay. A lot of bones. Alright, we want to head over to about Three looks like three seventy. My theory is we can pass through here. It's uh, it's also possible possible we maybe all pass through here, but I'm just gonna go up this way. Um, so we want to go to three seventy. I'm not gonna hit anything on the way, am I? No. Of course, I'm gonna scream when we do. Bones by the Killers is a container full of CD copies. So now I know, now I know from the way the game works, I'm expecting. I'm expecting something to happen on this 
on this long haul across the stretch of ocean. I guarantee you, at some point, we're gonna get a very sudden, like, all four indicators at once to represent something like glomming onto the ship. That dripping getting fast. There's actually no dripping going on at the moment. Okay, there's a tiny bit of dripping. Oxygen notification. God, that scared me. Okay, we're running out of oxygen. All right. I think it's pretty seventy. Tad drip go. Okay, we're at 370, 520. So 520 is here, 370 is here. So we just need to head due north until about, I don't know, 700. The music kind of kicked in. All right. That note on the floor made it seem like the universe is dying or something. So the premise, the premise of this game is that all of a sudden, every habitable planet and every star disappeared from existence. The only people who survived were on space stations or spaceship. And they're in, they're, they've been left in a, a universe with absolutely no hope because all the stars are gone. They're just living off of the, what they call the... Oh. Uh, that's bad. Why, why is this so bright in my submarine? All right, are we good? We good? Okay, great. Out of curiosity. Um, so yeah, there's, there's, all, all that's left is like random dead moons and stuff, and they found an ocean of blood on this particular dead moon. So they're like, well, fuck it, let's go see what's in there. Hey, convict, let us weld you into this submarine. Go see what's up. 325, 741. Man, I'm getting pretty good at piling this thing. That was almost perfect. There, yeah, boom. Uh, and then angle 18. More bones, all right. Does this change at all? now all right that one's done all right we need to go down there's only two left from what i can see and then i don't know all right we need to go south and it's because i'm in a particular mood isn't it sort of weirdly comforting to know the universe is just going kaput and there's nothing to do about it we kind of see that uh we'll go south to 660 Hey, humanity had a good run, sort of. I guess there is a certain relief in knowing that, like, nothing conclusively matters. 
like just absolutely nothing you do is meaningless it, it, it has any meaning at that point like the universe is so far gone like literally far gone it just doesn't matter but i mean that's the premise of this game you can you know you can you can take a a totally different approach to that premise with something like uh the outer wild All right, and then we need to go over to, this is gonna be tight. Um, just under 200. The fire was bad, but the warmth was nice considering. Okay, so we need to go just under 200. I feel like at this point, in in most horror games, they would have like set you up for something. Like you would be anticipating some like horrible revelation or something. This one really hasn't. I mean, I can hear I can hear stuff outside the sub. I mean, there's whatever that is. But like. I don't know, like, these, these pictures are just random bones and shit, right? Alright, so, I need to start heading down. I can consider, like, 1... 166.25 sort of waypoint. Are you prepared for prey like ending? I do not know the ending. That's kind of freaking me out. We want 185.76. Oh, we're we're almost there on that. Being really loud. Bones also said it looks like man-made structures. Whatever the heck is going on is not normal. I think it's not holding up very well. Uh, something's happening. Something is not right. One eighty five seventy six, angle one eighty four. That's not right. Do you think I should sail into it? Whatever, whatever, whatever it is is not, not that exciting. There's just, there's just something down here. It's all glowy and wooby. Anyway, uh, so we need to head north out of here until 6.50. We're just past it. 
Aren't the outside is fully rendered outside the... I don't think anything is fully is rendered outside the sub. That's not where we were. We're at 277 now. That's over here. 277, 643. We got ejected. Uh, okay. Um, all right, so we want to go to like, so yeah, it does actually, 690, 694.75. No, four, 475, 690. The entire planet is a living creature and we're in its arteries. I mean, would, it, would a living creature just have all of its blood in, like, an open pool on the surface? Well, I guess an alien creature could. Stargate Oddity. Large enough to have its own gravitational pull. Yeah, that's true. Okay, I made mean, it to 690... 405 so we're like we're like here ish so we want to head due east until i'm gonna say 580. and here kind of an indoor pool area the realistic wave machine oh the heart Does that make sense? I mean, that was good. That was, that was really good. All right, we're going to what? We said 580? Yeah, five, 580. Oh God. <laughs> Oh, right. We're at the end of the game. It's fine. I just have to explain that stain to his wife. Oh! Oh, no. Oh, no, the sub. Oh, no, sub, sub leaking. Okay. Uh, north to... Like, 770. Uh-oh. Letting be mostly silent is fucking effective. It really is. <clears throat> okay, okay. This isn't. It's not like. Okay, yeah, it's not leaking from anywhere. I can fix. Okay, we're here. We need to go over to 675. Oh, come on, man. Come on, man, I can do this. 675. Oh, man, if the blood covers my con console, we're dead in the water. Blood. Oh, I don't think I'm going to make it.
think maybe it stopped. All right, we want 675, 828. Here's something out there. I hear something moving around. 828. Okay, 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 okay. 828, and then angle 295. Alright, this is it. What do we call- Oh! Jesus God! I caught you the middle of that. That was perfect. That was so incredibly perfect. Expedition ultimately raised more questions than answers. Satellite images showed pieces of the SM-13 scattered all over the bottom of the trench as though it had been torn apart by some huge beast. The wreckage cannot be reached at this time. No photographs have been recovered. The stars shine pale as bones. The moon is a lifeless corpse. This ocean a gaping wound. The universe, what's left of it, is dying. But somewhere in the void, there must be hope. Decent atmosphere, but ending on a screamer lowered it a little bit for me. I, okay, look, here's, here's my thing. Here's my thing. I hate jump scares. I absolutely hate jump scares, except, except if they're earned. And I feel like that one was so incredibly well earned. Like, I am, I am okay with a game, an entire game, one this short, certainly. Just being a giant setup for a jump scare, if it's that good. Like, I, I, I gotta be honest, I thought that was perfect. I thought that was absolutely fantastic. So yeah. Good stuff. Kirby, Kirby save me. <laughs> Oh my god, that scared the shit out of me, man. That, that, is, that is one of the biggest scares I've had in a game in a while. I know we haven't played a whole lot of horror stuff lately, but like, just thinking back to October, like, that was... Oh my god. Absolutely hate jump scares, but that was the thematically sound jump scare, and that's right. Yes, yeah, that's basically how I feel about it. Yeah, I will, I, like, I'm, I'll be the first person, like, if, if Janner Bleeds is full of jump scares, I'm gonna get pissed at this game, and I'm gonna complain about it and critique the shit out of it, but that, that, the build-up for that one is just so good. Yeah, the eye scare was good, too. I think that's what makes it so effective, is that you had, like, you had that sudden moment where, oh my god, there's a thing in front of you, what is it? You push the button, there's an eye, and then the timing is perfect, you get that boom, right? You're expecting, you're kind of expecting that to be the worst thing, right? Because it was kind of just everything else, you know, there, there had been a few, a few hits to the outside of the ship, you know, like, um, you, you know, like, like pressure leaks and drips and stuff, all, all that stuff, they, they were kind of minor, you know, they're all, all part of the atmosphere. When you're actually taking the, I think it's the pictures. When you're taking the pictures, it's just stuff. It's bones or ruins or something. And then, like, your next to last one, at least the way we did it, was that, like, that, like, throbbing thing, right? So they really, like, I think Iron Lung does a really good job of setting your expectations to not be that. Like, it's going to be, it's going to be something creepy. It's going to be something weird. It's going to be something surprising, but just not like a, and dude, like, yeah, it was so good.
In the essay, they show other unmarked places you can take creepy pictures, and there are also really good mini scares too. Some of the photos are really unnerving. I might look those up. I might just look those up. I'm also curious, um, like mechanically, is is that is that picture, is that particular point of interest always the one that kills you, or is it just whichever one you visit last? When you take the picture where you first see the fish and you take another picture, it's no longer there. Nice. I think there are endings that could have been better. Sure. Yeah. I mean, I feel like that's kind of a dangerous critique to make because you can, I think you can, you can argue that with, for just about anything. You know? I, I think, I think, it's easy, it's easy to imagine or assume better endings to things, but I, I don't think it's worth losing sight of the quality of the ending that you do get, you know? It's always the last one? Okay. Is that just one ending? I don't know. I don't know. I, I would assume so. I would assume the game always ends like that. Um whatever your last photo is, it just is just a thing that rips your sub apart. <clears throat> but yeah, I was un unexpectedly good. It was, it was good in a way that I did not expect. All right, now we're playing Janitor Bleed. This, I don't believe, will be a full playthrough. I, I think this game is longer than an hour. Um, but let's, let's check it out. Here we got. None of explosions and exposition explaining everything. That's clearly not what I meant. What did you mean, Vessi? The sea monster always kills you if we're going to picture the final thing. Okay. In the newer Call of Cthulhu had two jump scares. One is expected. <laughs> um, and the second fucking got me good. My blood went cold. Like they kept the monster ambiguous. Yeah, I only saw like teeth, I think. Or maybe claws? I don't know. Something was just... It's just really well done. I just really, really liked it. Uh, this is... Okay. This looks about right. Options. Can I have... Can I have... Can I have... No. Okay, that's fine. New game. The entity can detect the light from your flashlight. I went through the demo of this, it's awesome. Watched a bit of the playthrough for later in the game, it's more awesome. It is said that in the forest lives an evil so great that it twists the path of a lone traveler like a reeking black hole. Gross. Evil is so great. There's no knowing where the path has led you. Until you've passed the point of no return. I would love I would love a comprehensive list of how many horror games start with a car crash. It's a nice night for a walk up. <laughs> All of them. I know, right? Look, a house. Um. Oh wait, a tent. Okay, this is good. Most of them need to start with a boxcar crash or unicycle crash. I woke up in my car having crashed into a rock. I must have been heading home. Luckily, I still had the gear from last week with me. No way I could have climbed back on the road with my busted leg. Something is definitely wrong here. That damn light. Maybe I can resist its call one more night. Yeah. All right, 
right, we got flashlight. I saw something up in a this weirdly direction that I guess I'm not going to because now I'm in a big hole. Let's go this way. No! Oh! Okay. Welcome back, Arcane. True horrors, how the Twitch app keeps disconnecting. Your phone died? God. Everybody's tech is just falling apart. Uh, oh good, run is shift, thanks. They're always the words you want to hear in a horror game. Run is shift. Oh wait, it's still the credits. Nothing scary can happen during the credits. I think we should definitely go in here. Never has there been a clearer indication of where to go than a big old sewer pipe in the woods. Okay, I definitely already hate this. I can go prone in this game. Where in the hell am I? Jesus. Ooh. That looks nice. We found an arcade. Cool. We can just hang out here. There's lots of cars. There must be tons of people here. I don't think you should ever start giving the sewer pipe because people will link it to shit too easily. Dude, this place must be jumping. Look at all these cars. This is great. Uh, Hemo's Arcade. Hemo is a very odd name. You know what? I think the memories of this are coming back to me. Oh god, I think I remember this now. Yeah, this this was definitely on a haunted PS1 disc. Investigate the arcade. Have you played Coin Game at all? No, I don't believe I have. Yeah, I, re I remember this now. Oh, I remember this. Mimic saying arcade would rip. No, I want to flash. Almost done my first week here at Hemos. I came here all the time when I was a kid, so the feeling is pretty surreal. Everyone's been really nice, but Ryan, he stopped tending the cafeteria, spending all his time in the main hall instead. The others have heard him whispering some nonsense, like he's seen the light and we will all be covered with sheets. I'm not sure what his problem is. Kids being kids. Stepped in sewage today, so I feel the sewer horror. Playing game is fucking dope, like an indie exploration arcade thing. Do you like playing Stacker or Cyclone? And then you love coin game. You explore an arcade in the town surrounding it while playing Ticket Redemption games. That sounds neat. That sounds really neat. Alright, so that's not bad. Oh, let's turn the power on. Hey. Oh yeah. Let's play Torjin. I bet Torjin's fun. Oi, Phil. Lar. Ball is Las Vegas. 
Pucker. I hardly knew her. Cafeteria, main hall, hall A and B. This is like one of the biggest arcades I've ever seen in my life. Guessing, yeah, it's gonna be five. Yeah, I think I remember the flow of this one actually. Yep, I remember. Do not pull. But, but my objective says to pull. Sure, it'll be fine. Insert three coins. I just so happen to have three coins. Oh, I remember this. Not gonna lie, in what world would someone do this? I know, right? There are so many better games out there than this. Play the game, the creepy restroom, the bloody abandoned arcade. Pony Island vibes a bit. I really wanna play Pony Island sometime. <laughs> Level question mark. So I, I'm curious of something actually. If the entity is locked up in here, what did we see in the forest? Surely this is a good idea. I think I remember this. I think we're supposed to hide in here or something. Crawl around the filthy fucking bathroom. You just leave now, Ash. Alas, you fucked it. Yeah. Investigate the light. Ooh, a coin. Old control. Oh, they, they want me to go in the vents, of course. Dagger is the first time you crawl around a restroom floor. Yeah, it's pitch black. Why would you ever do this? You go to my workplace and graffiti oh, tutorial. No. Just, just shut up. <laughs> mm, vent coke.
Or Slendy Boy. What's up, Bacon Copter? How you doing, buddy? I think I... I think I remember this scene. I re remember being really cool. It's been a difficult couple of years. Whose idea was it to start an arcade business at a location like this? At this rate, we won't last more than a couple of months. I might have found a solution. I came across a strange brochure about an old arcade cabinet for sale. One of a kind, it said. I had a strong urge to order the cabinet, as expensive as it was. I'll order the posters for this janitor game. Whatever happens will be the last hurrah of Timo's arcade. Don't all right, finally had a rough week. Deep into a sick run of Jupiter Hell. Nice. Very nice. I am looking forward to some more Lego Skywalker Saga myself. Uh, hopefully you all saw I post a review of that today. Um, had, I had some time to do a write-up and I just kind of brain dumped how much I love, how much I love it. Oblivious? Yeah. I need... Oh, you need three coins for the fight. Why'd they make it so expensive? Like, if the fucking demon thing wants to get out, just make it fucking 25 cents. Or like, one token or how many? There are a lot of tokens in here, damn. But yeah, I guess they had to ensure you would be able to play the game in here, because otherwise the game doesn't continue. I don't know why you're bitching. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. Un unless, unless the entity can just, like, spontaneously conjure coins. Oh, I love this. Dude, it's, it's the office that we're in right now. Can we see the thing? Ah! I don't know if this even counts as hiding. That's why they gave you so many coins. Ah, the ah, fucking Christ, ah, man! Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Shadows, I gotta say, you've developed real talent for that. <laughs> Wait, why did I even grab? Oh, it must be for the off. This is. Wait. Oh, there you go. Okay, so it went that way. The manager's off. This is just under 20 bucks uh, Australian. Does anyone know how long it is? I've heard people told me I wouldn't be able to finish it tonight. So I need to time the add death command.
Well, that's... Can I, can I climb in the blood vent? Climb in the blood vent. How bad could it be, really? That's the warehouse, I think. Has some length to it. God, there's a body. Oh, God. Let the raspberry jam in here. To this day, I still get freaked. Like, air vent sequences like this freak me out. And it's all because of the first fear game. Because there is a sequence, I remember right where it is, I remember exactly what part of the game it is, and it gets me every single time. But you, cl you climb into an air vent, and you're crawling through the vents, and you like go around a corner, and your, your flashlight flickers and goes out, and when you turn it back on, Fucking Alma is in the vent with you, and I scream like a little child, and cry, and like, ow. Like, fall out of my seat, lose my mind, and I keep playing anyway. I don't think that's like the scariest thing in video games ever, but it's it's a very specific fear I have because of, of it was so impactful the first time it hit me that it's like it's stuck with me all these years. I was shat all of myself and my surroundings. The oh god, yes, those those are the two big scares in fear. The air vent and the ladder. The ladder is so well done. The ladder, there's, there's something really magical about the ladder because it's not even threatening. It's just, it's one of those magical jump scares where you just, you just see something. It doesn't even jump out at you. Nothing happens, but it's framed so well, it just, it just freaks you out. My dad talks about it too, Shadows. My dad loves fear. And yeah, that was the one that got him. For me, it's the air vent. Like the, the, the latter one is probably like the best scare in the game, but the, the, the air vent one just got me so bad. I always want to play fear, but I'm scared. Fear, fear is a weird one because it's, it's so evenly split between scary parts and action part. There's like, there's really no crossover between them for the most part. Like, you will, you will be going around a level, and if you hear some guys on the radio, it's fighty time. If there's, like, a static effect on your screen, it's scary time. Is there a mod to take out the jump scares? There might be, actually. If you don't manually cap the frames, all the corpses you create will glitch out hilariously. Uh, good. Level warehouse. Love fear, except it has some pacing issues. That's also true. That's also true. I have played all the fear games. I reviewed them for my uh, old first person shooter uh, review series. The first one is far and away the best. The second one is passable, but it has a pretty awful ending. Um, and then I did not like the third one. If you just want a dumb action shooty game that's like basically an arcade score attack, it's fun in that respect. There's a 
Glitch monster. Can already tell there's gonna be some peripheral spooks with the way the camera is set up. Yeah, definitely. Ooh, coin. Halloween replayed it a few years back, and a lot of the bodies would anti grab like the panel in uh, Dead Space One. Nice, it's really fun. Oh no, I uh nuts. I wonder if you can lose this game by running out of coins. That's a really weird way to do that, but okay. Mom, the abomination ate my credit. Uh, somebody went a little nuts with paint. What the fuck? That's a locked door. Good. I think I'm slowly piecing together what happened here. I barely managed to avoid the entity. I'm not the first one to stumble in this place, nor will I be the last. I don't think the entity is what's truly behind all this. It's just a figment of what's bleeding through the janitor into this world. Janitor bleed. Oh, that's cool. So the, the glitch monster isn't... Okay, nice. The glitch monster isn't even, like, the big bad of this game. That is a very cool reasoning for the name. Yeah, I like that. Objective, find a way across the roof. Okay. What is big? Oh, I see a coin. I was expecting a lot worse in this game, but this is neat. This is really good, yeah. This is a very solid game. This is maybe the last game of the night? I don't know. We'll see we'll see how bad it gets me or if I get stuck anywhere. I may I may need something to wind down from this. Awesome makes me want to see more Monstrum, oddly. Um Boy, Monstrum's a game I've not thought about in a hot minute. Is that an arcade machine on the fucking roof? It is. This is kind of wild. The fucking arcade machine is following us around. I'm getting here. That's where I want to be. Curb and chill. I watched Benny play uh, some of the end game sections. It was pretty nuts. Oh! Look at him. You should play some Lost in Vivo to calm your nerves. Ooh, I got a bear. I think this, is this a secret? Yeah, this is a secret. Nice. All right, we're self and thanks for coming out. Good to see you. Calling it the bear is the true monster here. That bear of a syringe. The bear had a screwdriver. He's main as bear. Do not impugn the honor of my good bear friend. I will brook no impugning. You know, we should play Bubsy. No, I, I, I think I need a break from horror after this. Oh, Jesus Christ, what the fuck? I don't think I can escape that. Yeah, that hurts, ow. 
kind of moves a bit too fast for me. Okay, I, I was not expecting that. Fuck off! Jesus. Are people in vents always so slow because they're fucking crammed in there like a sardine? How fast are sardines? Spoiler alert, not very. He moves quickly but turns slowly. The blob but pixelated, I dig. This is a neat idea, yeah. All right, cool. We are completely exposed and unprotected out here. There is nowhere to run and nowhere to hide. Let's play the haunted video game. That was a CRT glitch to chase you, yes. Level roof. Oh, that was cool. Also fucking scary. It's just an allegory for video game addiction. Manipulating the world via the arcade game is such a cool puzzle mechanic, it really is. It's a really neat idea. So yeah, I think we're, I think, yeah, I think we're done with that because we just opened all this stuff up. Fuck. Yeah, because now we can pass through here. Oh, the entity is down there. Okay, so it's down below us at the moment. Or something. I have one of the worst food items here for nostalgia steak. A hungry man Salisbury steak frozen meal. You know what that would be for me? A Hormel microwave cheeseburger. I think I've talked about those before. How it's just like a hockey puck of meat and like a freezer burned bun and a, a, a frozen slice of cheese that just like dissipates into oil when you uh, when you microwave it. This one's already going. Mashed potatoes with them are worse than they are. My nostalgia is bread pizza from school cafeterias. Dude, school pizza? I think it's because we all grew up with it, but something magical about that shit. Didn't have your chicken parm bowl? Sorry. Uh, no, wait, this is the way I came. And this is the way we're going. Another game over here. You used to deconstruct the school pizza for no good reason. I mean, the, the fucking cheese came right off of it. I love the what an AI thinks a brownie is to come with them. Like, I know it's gonna happen and it still freaks me out. Horse perspectives are very powerful in horror scenarios. God, I still remember, um, is it, is it DreadX1 that has the one that's on the LCD handheld? And it, and it's got some like 
like it ends up being like diegetic horror because stuff is happening around you while you're playing the LCD game. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, I don't like this. My favorite, this is awful, but I like is the Velveeta brand hamburger helper meals. Okay, so, oh! God, they're fu the fucking shadows freaked me out. I, I don't even know where it is. I think the entity probably heard that one. Well, I guess this is where we're going. There's still some pulsating glowing shit in there, so that's probably not good, but uh... Ow. Fucking breaking my leg. All right, so um, things are definitely happening now. Yes, not, 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 not trying to to un unduly uh, promote this game, but y'all don't don't forget you can like things with dragon coins, because right now the most liked thing this month. Is NES Where is Waldo? Please don't let that happen. Please, please consider the ramifications of such things. Remember the big fish you saw next to one of the objectives in Iron Lung? If you take a second picture in the same spot, the fish is gone. I think somebody mentioned that, yeah. That's a really cool, uh, really, some really cool attention to detail there. Thank you. Yes, I will hide it. I think I had a local arcade with this car, but... Would you be shocked to learn they still make, like, enter well, before the pandemic anyway, they still made uh, entertainment centers and family fun centers with this carpet? Who like Waldo of all things, Jesus Christ? People who like to watch me suffer. Which, I mean, at this point, may be a majority. It's hard to say, really. And one for Iron Lung. Okay, I'll I I'll I'll split some of these like play janitor at Hemo's arcade. I'll give a few of these likes to Iron Lung. Because I like Iron Lung. Can't believe I missed NES Waldo. There's always the VOD, buddy. I know I know it's not the same as, as experiencing it live. But um it was Certainly an experience. All right, sir. So, uh, back in the main part of the arcade. You're going to clean up these glowing things in the game, I bet. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah. That would be a really smart way to help you access areas. Like, we're not going to be able to get into Hall B unless we clean that shit up. Who better to clean it up than a janitor? I hope Waldo ends up being in the most like stream. I don't. So the entire entrance is collapsed. That's not. By the way, you can't jump in this game. In case you were wondering why I'm not like jumping over a thing.
Can I turn on power? Why did I even come over here? What was the point of this? I'm technically a janitor, I can confirm that I bleed. I'm a word janitor, does that count? <clears throat> Waiting for the entire arcade to have I wait for the entire arcade to uh, bled into reality from the game or something. Like, you go outside of the building and the game is marked Kimo's Arcade 2. Sorry, there's just, there's a light on my door from outside. I think it's the reflection of a headlight, but, I mean, given given what we're doing, it's a uh, distract. Oh, I'm full up. You can only hold 10 coins at a time. Oh, fuck. Shit. Ass. Oh, God. Alright. I'm gonna hide here. Under the toilet. That's a cool monster, dude. Oh shit, he's, he's trying the stalls. Oh, he just tried the one. Oh! You die in the game, you become a janitor in real life. Investigate the main hall. She gonna lock solid janitor. I really, I, I want to say, I really appreciate that the monster sequences are scripted and it's not just like freely wandering around to harass you. I find that I find that a little exhausting in these horror games when you're always trying to like, like avoid a monster. I feel like it's much more effective in just these more specific uh, scripted instances. Christ, dude, seriously? Wait, what? So these are, these are images from in the game. Considering indie devs are sometimes not great, that whole stealth AI, yes, that too. This feels like a game that is, that is made perfectly to the developer's ability. And that's always gonna produce the best horror game rather than trying to like reach beyond your capabilities and make the game do something that you're not, you're not fully equipped to make it do. I think some games pull it off okay, it can get tedious when you need to explore, but oops, Scissor Man is here again for the point. Yes! Yeah, I hate that. Oh boy. Hell, man. Wait. Wait, this isn't right. It says blood.
Blood Arcade. That wasn't here before. A video game left. This doesn't even have a lock. Wait, what if, hang on. Dude. Dude! Okay, so I bet Yep, there it is. The fuck out of here. Oh wait, dark. Be, 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 be dark. What the fuck? Find a blue key to unlock secrets of the main hall. Ah, uh, I don't want to get off this machine. God, okay, I think we're back. Okay. Jesus, dude. This is really good. Okay, so I have red keys now. So I can get into all the red key areas. Uh, that's warehouse and roof access. Like, would that be? Anxiety at the arcade. Okay, this is where I've been before. Yeah, yeah. Give me guys. Shadows? You've gotten really good at that. The nicest thing I could say about this. I thought. Yeah. I'm out of bits, I'm good. Oh, thank God. Some small mercy now. 
Wait, where did, where's this go? Okay, so this, aha, all right, so this loops around here. Wait, so that would, hmm. That would mean that whatever I need to do would be in here, right? Isn't that where most, if not all, the red doors were? Were there other red doors? Oh yeah, the warehouse. Oh yeah, the warehouse. I, I backed away from it too quickly because I was scared. Jump frog. Can I open this? Nice, okay. <sighs> this is roof access. Yeah, okay. Okay, now I know where we are. Okay. Everything is all such God, these machines are really fucking creepy. Like, they have, oh, God, they have eyeballs and people and frogs on them and, what? like, cool visual effect. <sighs> I just had the strangest day. The address where we were supposed to pick up this arcade cabinet led us to an empty street where the machine was sitting alone, covered by a sheet, not a soul in sight. The check was already in the mail, so we lifted the cabinet into the truck and headed back to Hemo's. I couldn't get the game out of my head. During the drive, it felt like the machine was staring at the back of my neck. The machine is installed in the main hall. I don't know if I should be happy or scared. Very scared. Let's find out what we came back for. Quick look for virtual on or when the good DDRs get out of here. Uh... Oh God, it's a note and a key. The entity seems to try everything to prevent me from finding these keys. There must be a good reason for it. The key feels strangely heavy in my hand, like it's trying to guide me somewhere, pulling me towards the very center of this place. So I think some shit's gonna go down when I pick this up. Oh god, I don't think... I'm not sure I can hide here. I'm, I may have fucked this up. But we're, we're gonna see. The Entity and you having a DDR battle would be epic. This may be a situation where... I can't just wait for him to leave. I may have to sneak past him. Yeah, I think I think he's making orbit. He's I think he's patrolling. Oh god, okay, I see it. I see it. I see what I need to do. Ugh. I'm not thrilled about it, but I see it. Not sure where to go from here, though. 
You think I can run past him? Jesus is big too. Oh, maybe not. Okay. Well. Oh, he. Okay, he attacks you. I guess technically maybe I can escape? No. I am dead. Oh, God. Uh, um. <sighs> okay. I think this is probably a good place to stop for the night. Because my. I'm not sure how much more my heart can take. But also, I want to encourage y'all to play this game yourselves if you're interested, because this seems really, really solid. This seems super, super good. Like, it is, it is very, very clever, the way it's put together. Good place for you to wuss out. Yeah, I gotta I got take my escape hatches when I can. <laughs> hmm. I do also need to be up early tomorrow because I gotta take my kids to their Japanese school. So. <sighs> but yeah, really, really neat game. Wonder what that last point of interest in Iron Lung was? Uh, death. <laughs> it was death. Oh, like if you don't go for that one. Oh, okay. Uh, that's a good question. Actually. Good question try to look that up but yeah it's it's kind of the most remote and it looks like the area past that looks like you could theoretically leave the map so i know i was thinking that maybe like that was like the natural end point that you go get that one last and then they're like good job well done come back to hq you just need to exit through the northeast in this very convenient place please go meet us here and then it would be a happy ending and we would all live happily ever after because I'm a naive fool. <laughs> anyway, chat, we played three really interesting games tonight. Uh, Avarice seems to be off to a really good start as a uh, physics-based destruction simulator. I'm probably going to play some more of that uh, this weekend. Iron Lung was incredibly solid, uh, even if it ended in a way that I wouldn't have expected or asked for. I feel like it earned that ending that I got. And Janitor Bleeds is super cool. Uh, Janitor Bleeds is a really, really, really neat game. I'm curious how long it is. But I just, I really like the mechanics of it. And I really like the build up too. Like it does things. I think the thing about Janitor Bleeds is it does things that other indie horror games do. But it makes them work because of its pacing and its build up. Like, I'm just thinking about that little hallway we were in where you go to the end of it and there's an arcade machine and a door stenciled on the wall. And then you turn around and things have changed. And you go back and now it's a bloody sheet and a more detailed door. So many indie horror games do shit like that. They trap you in a little hallway. You go back and forth and like things change. But the way Janitor Bleeds builds it up actually makes it feel threatening. Whereas other indie horror games, it feels more like they, they do it because they're expected to. And there's no real buildup to, to make it, to give it that, that sort of threat. Like, nothing happened in there. Nothing happened in the one in Janitor Bleeds, but because of all the stuff leading up to it, I thought there might be. I thought something, something might happen there. So. Yeah. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm gushing. I can't help it. It's, I've, I've played so many bad indie horror games where like they they go through all the same motions but they don't have that that artistic vision to actually give it the the, the that ominous sense it needs to work and this game does so i really really like it yes exactly most indie games just want to get the money shot immediately or they don't understand so many indie horror games don't understand where the fear comes from they don't understand that it comes from the anticipation and not like the actual like mechanics and uh, things happening, you know? It's uh, the ultimate offender for this is um is uh um oh the first the first Bluebird team game. 
Layers of Fear. Oh my god, Layers of fucking Fear. Layers of Fear has all the like all the technical mastery you could ask for, all the all the presentation, but they just they don't get what's actually scary. They don't get that it's the build up that's scary and not just like being in a dark room and all the books fly off the shelves and then a chair falls over and then a door bangs open. And then the walls melt. Like, no, it's the build-up to that that makes the payoff work. So, too many, too many indie developers and even some, some big experienced developers just don't get that. Anyway, anyway, let me, let me cut myself off before I, before I ramble, screech, rant too much about this. Liver team is somewhat awful, yet somehow made Observer, which is really damn good. Okay, so with Observer... <laughs> I can't stop now. It's it's too late. Here, let's go. Let's let's scare some people off with giant oddish. Um, the thing about Observer is, I think they came up with a concept that really suited their style. They didn't they didn't evolve their style really. Like like Layers of Fear was was a was a dumb loud jump scare game, right? And with Observer, I think they just kind of built a game where that would work better. And it, because it really, really fit well with those scenes where you would go into dead people's memory. Because it, it made sense. It made sense that their neural network was all fragmented and like, and like loud and screechy and falling apart, right? So those sequences I thought really worked with their style. But something like Layers of Fear that's supposed to be psychological horror but it just ends up being like loud idiot jump scares. It, it doesn't work. So I think that was their big mistake. Because Bloober Team at this point, they've made two layers of fear games, Observer. Um, they made a Blair Witch game, I think. And just, I, I've only played the first layers of fear and Observer, but judging from the reception that the other ones got, it really seems like Observer is the only one where they actually tried to play to their strength. And the other games, they just, they just kind of tried to shoehorn their style into, into psychological horror, and it doesn't work that way. So. Which is a shame. I, I wanted to like them and their games, because I, I, I think Observer is a really cool game, but Layers of Fear sucks. <laughs> like, it just, it straight up sucks. I hate the story in that one, too. Um, I, I, could, I could write you a dissertation, and I have to a small degree about how much I, I dislike the story in that game. Okay, all right, I'm, just, I'm, I'm gonna see if I, can, if I can cut it off here. We're gonna talk about the schedule. I'm gonna send you all to raid somebody and that's gonna be it. So, uh, tomorrow night, tomorrow night, uh, back to the Power Hours, starting the September 1991 issue of Nintendo Power. Lots of good stuff in there. Lots of stuff that you've been waiting for, including um, Star Wars, NES Star Wars, and I believe Kickmaster. Think Kickmasters in that one. Blair Witch game ticked me off because they decided to anchor it entirely in mental illness. Oh, uh, and then unless you have like the right touch for that, it's not going to work. Uh, I'll be off Sunday, as I always am. Then on Monday, we are finally starting Thief 2. I'm very, very excited about that. I love Thief 2 so much, and it has been over a decade since I last played it. Like a decade and a half, more like. So I'm very, I'm absolutely thrilled to to finally be revisiting that game. And also to be playing more retro first-person games, because I love them. You can always play the old Blair Witch trilogy. That would be interesting, actually. That would actually be pretty interesting if I track it down. Anyway, let's see who's up and doing things and stuff. Thing. Um... How's about... How's about I send you all... We were talking about Tunic earlier. How about I send you over to Bassey, who is playing Tunic? I'm not sure where they are in the game, but it looks like, looks like some good viewing. <clears throat> all right, chat, thank you so much for joining me tonight. Thank you for joining me for this... I, I, I would love to say impromptu, mostly indie horror night, but we've actually been planning this one for like two weeks. 
But we finally did it, and it was fun. And it kind of makes me want to do some more horror and horror kin stuff. We're definitely, we're definitely going to be doing um, the rest of the Chizo Mythos when we get the chance. Uh, I haven't forgotten about the Penumbra series. I did play the first game of the Penumbra series, and I consider myself on the hook to play the second. So that is something that I would like to do at some point. Worlds more uh, creepy games out there that deserve a look and deserve to be played by us, so maybe we'll get around to that. Anyway, hopefully I will see you tomorrow night for more Power Hours and a fresh issue of Nintendo Power. But until then, as always, I'll take care. Bye, everybody.